in Europe. Work is underway looking at the feasibility of introducing a digital euro. This could be the electric equivalent of cash, complete, complementing banknotes and coins, and providing millions of people with an additional choice on how they can pay. It's widely understood that a broad debate on the issue is needed, not only with central banks, but also with commercial banks and consumers. We're joined now by Erica Costiluk. She's the head of transaction banking at ABN AMRO Bank and is here to talk with us more about this very interesting topic. So, Erica, tell us a little bit about the drivers behind central banks' digital currencies. Yeah, I think the, the word already says it. So there's an important driver because the central banks are looking at that. Mm. So they are looking at, we see cash declining and they're looking for how can they regain control on the public money because money in banks is commercial money and they're looking at how can we, um, you know, make sure we have a substitute for cash because that's declining. Mm. So that's an important driver. I think another important driver is, um, I think it was in the previous interview also, is crypto, um, it's also commercial initiatives that are already out there and you want to, you know, be in control of what's happening as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think it's important to look at that as well. Well, let's get down to the brass tacks of it. What will be the cost on banks? Uh, more importantly, what will be the cost on consumers? Well, the interesting part is that um, the, they have announced that for consumers it will be free. But of course, it doesn't come for free, right? So as banks, um, uh, commercial banks will have to make sure that it's provided to, um, to the clients, to the consumers, that they will be able to fund and defund. And also, um, as banks will be the distributor, we also need to look at the KYC and the anti-money laundering, terrorism finance prevention um, on those payments. So there will be cost to it. So that's an interesting um, question, really, how um, you know, the business model will look like for the banks. Mm -hmm. Do you think that introducing this new type of money will increase competition and perhaps uh, stimulate innovation? It will definitely stimulate um, innovation because you already see it happening. You see commercial initiatives uh, looking at how can we explore or com complete a digital euro in, in different, different parts. Um, yeah, so I think it will definitely stimulate that. It's interesting what's happening already by different parties. I think here at Cybos you hear a lot about it. Yeah. In your opinion, what can banks be doing to prepare themselves for it? I think a very important part is to be part of the debate mm. because the details still are under, some parts are known, but some parts aren't known yet. And it's um, what we see is that there were uh, parties who were also kind of in denial, you know, it won't be happening, it may not be coming. But it's better to be part of the debate and discuss how we can make it work together um, uh, as opposed to not uh, to kind of opposing to it. Mm. So what are the keys to success here for this digital euro uh, to, to be successful? Yeah, so it's a European initiative and Europe is made of many countries mm -hmm. um, which have different payments uh, methodologies or traditions or cultures. And um, I think we need to see where we can find commonality, how we can make it work. Um, so that will be very important uh, for the success to find, to find a way how we can make it work together. Mm. To how important it. would you say interoperability is to uh, CBDCs? I think to any payment form, that's important. So I think it's crucial um, um, to make it a success, as you just said, mm. to have that. You know, we always heard the term cash is king, but uh, is cash going to be dead eventually? Will there still be a future for cash? Well, you know, we've seen cash reducing over time and especially during COVID, yes. it rapidly decreased. We see it now stabilizing, but for example, in the Netherlands, it's only 20%. Um, so I think it will come down, come down um, and continue, but there will always be a use for cash. I think at least in the coming years, um, I, there's still people who are not digital. There's still, still people who feel that's the most safest, you know, place mm -hmm. to have their money. So yeah, I think it will remain but it will become less. I mean, that's what we see. We see the young people hardly using cash. I've been now here in Toronto. I haven't used any cash. I haven't, you know, gone to the ATM. So I, I still I use my Apple Pay for everything. So <laughs> I, I hear that. Erica, a fascinating conversation, and uh, I'm sure you'll be having many more conversations this week Absolutely. here uh, at Cybos. Uh, Erica Kostiluk is the head of transaction banking at ABN AMRO uh, Bank. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.